And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... Shadows of Suspicion. Bleep. Squeak. And Scratch spent many happy days at their home base on Earth, Zero Zero Island. The Colonel kept busy with new experiments in his lab. Scratch spent many happy hours digging away in the garden, and Squeak played with his favorite toy, a little wooden puppet. Squeak loved this toy, perhaps because he himself was made of choice lumber. A block of delicate white pine for his head, and a board of sturdy oak for his body. Yes, little Squeak was really a wooden puppet, but few could have guessed that he was anything other than a real and very natural little boy. For he certainly was full of mischief like most real little boys, as his friends knew too well. Bleep still recalls the shock of dashing about for almost an hour, dodging what he believed to be flashing meteorites, only to discover later that little Squeak had slipped a handful of fireflies into the Colonel's helmet just for fun. Another time, Bleep awoke from a sound sleep to find himself covered with green and yellow spots, a sure sign of Futurian frog pops. But little Squeak knew that the colorful dots on the spaceman's helmet were just dabs of paint, for the puppet had put them there himself, just for fun. But it was poor Scratch, the good-natured caveman who suffered most from this puppet trickery. More than once, his trusty wooden club had been nailed to the floor. And who can recall how many times a scrumptious coconut pie had a hidden balloon inside, just waiting for poor Scratch's knife or fork. Squeak's favorite prank, however, was making shadow pictures on the wall by holding his fingers in front of a bright candle. He would create the shadow of a wolf, then signal for help, and Scratch would dash to the rescue, only to find the puppet rocking with laughter at his joke. The caveman had been fooled by Squeak's shadow pictures of a giant crab, a monstrous crocodile, and a ferocious ostrich. At last, Scratch had vowed never to be tricked again. Then, one day, it happened. Bleep had blasted off for a closer look at a storm cloud approaching the island. Scratch was inside his cave, carving a new wooden club, and Squeak was fishing in the brook by the waterfall. At the first raindrop, Squeak dashed for the nearby shelter of Scratch's cave. Now, no one had noticed that a giant tropical spider had just spun its huge web across the cave entrance, and poor Squeak ran smack into this deadly trap. Scratch looked towards the doorway to see the puppet snared in the giant web, but as he watched, the stormy sky outside made his poor struggling friend look like just another of Squeak's own shadow tricks. And Scratch returned to his club carving, determined not to be fooled again, and never dreaming that his little friend was really in trouble this time. Poor Squeak shook with terror as the giant spider appeared, ready to devour him. It would be all over in a flash. And it was, but the flash was from a powerful bolt of Bleep's futomic energy. Yes, the Colonel had returned just in time to save the puppet. And so a very frightened Squeak, now safe in the arms of his friends, promised faithfully never to call for help unless he was in honest to goodness real trouble. For now he knows that a foolish trick can sometimes cost a life.